is going on, guys? This is Pixel Dan. So, hey, this weekend I am in Arlington, Texas for Retropalooza, one of my very favorite conventions I come to every year, put on by my good friend Jay from the Game Chasers. Uh, I'm a guest here this weekend, and it's Friday night right now. It's the night before the convention starts, and I thought, I thought I'd go ahead and just walk around the floor just to see what I can find. Everybody's setting up right now. Uh, I don't know if I'll actually be able to buy anything right now, but I'm at least gonna get the lay of the land and start peeking around to see what kind of toys are out there. So let's go, let's do this. Let's go check things out. All right, this, this booth is closed. Dealer's not over here. We got some back eat figures. Some Daniel. Motu. Hey, hey there he is. Hey, your video and there he is. Boy, what is this? What is this? This is a birthday present from one of my vendors. And my what? birthday was like six months ago. So. Well, that's worth the wait, though. I mean, PlayStation yeah, 2? Dude, I love the PlayStation You love the PlayStation 2? All PlayStation right. PlayStation 2. Hey, man. Sorry to ruin your video. No, you didn't ruin anything. Thanks for Retropalooza. Hey, thank you for coming. You're the best. So as I was saying before, I was rudely interrupted by my buddy Jay. Hey, there's a bunch of turtles and Motu over here. I am gonna have to come back tomorrow and flip through this just to see what I can find. There's some Joes up here too. Some T formers over there. Some carded stuff here. Ooh, the tick. Oh. Oh. So this is another table that's already closed off and the dealer's not here. I spy something back there that I want. Do you see that jumbo rock steady? I have Jumbo Bebop at home. I don't have that rock steady. I can't tell if there's a price on it. I'm coming back over tomorrow to check that out. Oh, I hope it's not too much. I kind of want it. Some other turtles and stuff over there too. Ooh, gotta come back. Retropalooza looks like it's shaping up to be a pretty great show. Uh, I'm gonna let these guys finish setting up because there's a lot of booths still to be set up. They don't need me poking around, looking for stuff. Uh, and I'm gonna go get some rest because I got a busy weekend ahead of me. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Saturday morning and Retro Palooza 7 is in full swing. So we're here, we are ready to go. I got things set up on my table, just right behind the camera here. Uh, but also, there's like, there's a lot going on here. It's a very busy show this morning. Uh, looks like there's a lot of great tables. I gotta get back out there and see some of the toys that I couldn't get to last night. Like I'm literally sitting right across for some booths here that, that have an amazing toy selection. So we're gonna do a little bit of toy hunting. Come with me. Chief! Get my stuff, Chief! <laughs> you better not have sold my my stuff. Oh yes, it's here. Alright, yeah, there we go. Yeah. That's them. There we go. All right, man. Here, let me let me get some table space real quick. I'm gonna show. You. So I I snuck in here last night while we were setting up and realized that Chief had some things I wanted to buy. And I think I've mentioned before that I'm a big Disney Parks fan and I love finding old media from Disney Parks. So this is an Epcot DVD. And this is a Walt Disney World Vacation Planner VHS. Look at that thing. That's amazing. 
That is so cool. 1993. Disney World in 1993. I'm actually excited to watch this and see what's on it. But even more exciting than that, I've got a clamshell He-Man and the Masters of the Universe VHS tape. Look at that. It's got the quest for the sword and Orko's favorite uncle. And this one is mostly sealed. You can see the shrink wrap's ripped on the top, but it's still mostly sealed. Got another one, another clamshell one. This, my friend. Look at that. Oh, this one's got... It's a Betamax. This is a Betamax? Oh, I didn't even realize that. See, look at the size difference. There we go. So we got a VHS and a Betamax, and the Betamax has got House of Shakoti Part 1 and 2, which are like two fantastic episodes there. Lord Mask and Shakoti. So, these are going to be my first true pickups from the show. I love it. Okay, so as soon as I picked up my stuff from Chief, I ran straight back over to that booth where I saw that Rocksteady, and he's gone! That Jumbo Rocksteady was right here, and he's gone. Literally, this was the second place I came to as soon as the, the show opened, and I missed him. There are some other cool figures sitting here, like this Tricera Mike. That's actually a bit of a rare figure that came out towards the end of the line. This one's real beat up, and I've got him at home already. And honestly, I'm just so disappointed that I missed out on that Jumbo Rocksteady. Like, seriously, that thing must have sold instantly. Hey, there's a Skeksis from Dark Crystal. Pretty cool to see. But man, guys, I'm seriously bummed right now. How did I miss it? Ugh. All right, well, to get my mind off the rock steady that I missed, let's check out some of the video games because Retropalooza is actually very heavy on retro gaming, and that's something else I love to collect. Not this Mighty Max game, though. Blah, that game is not very good, but hey, there's a really great selection of stuff here, and look, there's some primo NES selections in here. All the Mega Man's down there on the bottom, which I have, but there's also some pretty expensive NES titles in this particular case. Not something I necessarily want to buy, but always cool to see in person. And speaking of things that are cool to see in person, the Hotel Mario CDI game and the Zelda CDI game? I can't say if I've ever actually run across these in person before, and of course if you're a retro game collector, you know just how notorious these games are. They're really something else, and pretty cool to see them in physical form here. Hey, a Nintendo Play Choice countertop? Wow, that is awesome. And there's some fun AVGN merch up there on the top. But right over here is something that really catches my eye. This is a Commodore 64. The Commodore 64 was the first gaming machine that I ever played. My dad had one of these when I was a kid, and once he upgraded and got his Commodore Amiga, the C64 was moved into my bedroom, and I used to sit in front of that thing and play games for hours. It's really cool seeing this in person, and look at this, there's even a little case of floppy disks here with several games like Predator and Monopoly, and man, this is seriously bringing back some memories. There's no monitor here, because I think the Commodore 64 had a special monitor, uh, but it looks like everything else is here, and this is tempting. I'm not going to grab it today, but I think I might want to seek one of these out for my collection now. Just too many memories. Look at this carded Thunder Lips. Amazing. Oh, amazing. Got an $85 price tag, but that is sweet. That is just not something I see very often. So that whole rack's all finished. Toad Croaker. Look at that thing. He's pretty cool. The comb brush and mirror set <laughs> for E.T. Oh my gosh. And it's got E.T. with his wig and everything on. Amazing. That's amazing.
Okay, so here's a booth that is selling all these video games, five for $20. It's NES, it's Super Nintendo, it's all kinds of stuff. So I'm gonna grab a handful of NES games that I don't already have in my collection, because I just can't beat that price. Whoa, and check this out. A Spy Hunter mini pinball game. Now that's rad. Couple of Toy Biz X-Men figures, and check out this super clean carded Sergeant Bananas. That is nice. I mean, that is a straight card back. It's unpunched. It's got a crystal clear bubble. I already have a loose, complete Sergeant Bananas, but man, this is tempting to see. And boy, did the Ninja Turtles line just get really, really bizarre. This is a Cowabunga Kraken Turtle Egg Mint in Box. I mean, what even is this? It's a Ninja Turtle whose action feature is that he hatches out of an egg? Man, I love this toy line, and I love the weird wacky stuff like this. This is another tempting one, though I'm not sure I'm gonna grab this today, but I'm glad I saw it. All right, we got some carded Star Trek. Oh, Justice League. Oh, Batman, Legends of the Batman. I like that line, that is really cool. But this back here is what has really caught my attention. Tarzan the Epic Adventures is a really weird toy line and that's Dejah Thoris. You know, Princess of Mars, John Carter of Mars. They actually did several John Carter characters in this Tarzan line from the 90s and they're kind of cool for what they are. This table is covered in carded Street Fighter figures from Rosaurus. That is pretty amazing. I think it's been a long time since I've seen these particular Street Fighter figures. We even have some Playmates Toys Tomb Raider figures up here. I love video game toys, and it's pretty cool seeing some of these that I haven't seen in quite some time. All right. Who needs a Michelle doll from Full House? <laughs> Here's one in the box for you. So that's cool. <laughs> and then this over here, the Blop Game. I have no idea what this is. It's apparently got amazing popping action and it's a real fun game, according to the box. It's so bizarre and I kind of love it for that. Oh, this is a Super Famicom game of beat -em on You know, the little marble shooting toys. I actually did a video recently playing the Bomberman beat -em on game, and this has got a pretty good price, and it's complete in box. I think I'm going to pick this up, because, I don't know, toy-based video games are pretty cool. And honestly, guys, that's going to be my last purchase from the show. It's the end of the day at this point. The show is starting to pack up. Vendors are closing down. The place is emptying out. I know I didn't buy a ton of stuff at this particular show, but I got to see a lot of cool things. And honestly, that is part of the toy hunting experience for me and part of what I'm trying to do with these videos. I like showing all of the cool stuff that is out there in the wild to find. Retropalooza is a total awesome show. I love coming out to this event every single year. Uh, and you can see there's a pretty big dealer floor here. It is the end of the day and things are packing up, but there's so much cool random stuff to find. I mean, you got weird knockoff video games, but you've also got a massive selection of retro games, lots of cool toys, lots of weird oddities like this Nintendo video game watch, which I totally had when I was a kid, by the way. I think that is one of the things that is so much fun for me coming to these shows is just walking around and seeing what is out there to find. There's a lot of really cool things out here and Retropalooza is just so much fun. I get to come out here every year, I got to see some of my good friends like OK Chief right there, and just have a lot of fun hanging out with viewers of my channel and checking out all of the awesome stuff there to find on the show floor. If you guys are in the Dallas, Texas area and you ever have the opportunity to hit up Retropalooza, I would highly recommend checking it out.